Yo, yo, yo. We're back. Hi. We haven't actually worked on the bus in a couple of days. Um, I actually did work the other day. I done a quick, quick hour after work. Just threw some insulation in just to see how it went then. Um, but apart from that, we haven't done much. So we've got an hour here. And I think I'm just going to throw the rest of this insulation in. So we've got the first wall insulated. So it's looking like this. To be honest, it didn't really take that long. I wouldn't say, would you? No, not too bad. It's it's pretty straightforward work. You're just jamming it in where you can, putting panels in the nice like, big <clears> bits. <throat> right, just to add, um, the reason we have used Havelock wool is it is beautiful stuff to work with, isn't it? It's perfect. It's amazing. Yeah. And what we've done is we've left it back a little bit, so we are going to have a little air gap between the Havelock wall and the reflectives, which is how you actually get the best R value out of your reflectives. There should be a, a gap in between your insulation and your reflectives. So that's why maybe doesn't look as full as you'd think so because we've tried to tuck it back and leave that little air barrier in between so got a couple of wires to run in and yeah we'll maybe try and get a piece of reflective stuff today hey yeah let's do it yeah, let's do it do it <laughs> well we got Couple bits of reflective sound. Courtesy of Lydia yeah, yeah. and myself. Bit, a bit of teamwork. Actually went in a lot easier. Yeah, it went in pretty oh. nice, eh? Hey? It's actually a really nice stage to be at. Something simple, easy. Yeah, quite enjoying the insulation yeah, this time. Really easy to hey, you got a window. Oh, kind of. All right, so we've gone through our first box of Havelock wool. So one box to do is one whole side. The ceiling. The ceiling. Yeah. And, and half of the back. Half the back. Oh, most of the back. So, let's open it. It's crazy that it actually fits in this box. The must like, I don't know how they get it in, but. It can't be easy because it like it expands so much when it comes out of the box. It's ridiculous. Like already, it's like four times the size. Oh, it came from out of that, and look how big it is already. Slowly, like you would literally go into that. Well, to make quick work of that, hey? Yeah! So, we're actually finished. This is the final piece. Apart from all this front end here, which we do need to jam in, so actually kind of surprised how much we've got left over. Yeah, Marcus actually thought we were going to have to buy some more, um, but we've got a lot left, which is really, really nice. Yeah, so much left, yeah. Um, so that's it, that's the full van. Inside. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god, it's in my eyeball. Exciting's happening. Marcus, what's happening? Installation is finito. Completed. Clearly. You got this to do and just a couple of tapes to put on. Okay. Yeah. No need for tinfoil hats in this bus anymore. Yeah, 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 yeah. COVID safe in here. <laughs> 5G towers aren't affecting us too, are they? <laughs> yeah, dog. Yeah, dog. Yeah, dog. 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 <laughs> Bro. 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 No, no. Marcus! <laughs> like on my Bobby, baby. <laughs> so, that's the insulation all wrapped up. Finito. Finito. Give me a little, little swing around. We haven't done that very front bit, but that's the only bit we haven't done. So, we're all wrapped up with the uh, reflectives and the Havelock wool. wool for the bulk of it. And we're back. We're back. Um, so today I'm going to be painting these. So we went to Windsor Plywood. Yeah. And we got three boxes of shiplap. Nice. And I think the plan today is I'm going to paint them. You're gonna paint some shipper, yeah? And then see what they look like in the bus. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna throw a couple in, I think. Over here. See this monstrosity of a bus right now, it's pretty disgusting, but we're gonna throw some in this area here so we can start on the electrical at some point as well. And I'm gonna we oh our seats arrived yesterday. We got a couple of like used RV seats that swivel. One and two, they've got seat belts installed already, which is pretty handy, it makes life a lot easier. And we're going to take this thing out and throw the driver's seat in, see what we can do with that. So, nonetheless, let's get going. Well, I'm just packing up for the day. We didn't get half as much done as we thought we were going to. Hey, Lyd? No, not at all. I mean, Lydia got all the... Um, not all of it, but most of the ship lot painted that we're going to start off with. But I started on these seats, right? Um, I'm going to have to make a, like a, a plate that's going to go on the floor, bolt to the original plate with some pins in. And then this one, I'm going to make another plate that I'm going to weld to here that will have pins in for Lydia's seat. But when we took it all apart, we realised that this was was leaking in here. As you can see it's a little bit rusty on here and this was all very wet and there was like a puddle down there so I'll just, I'll just be cleaning it all up and I'm gonna rust treat it all tomorrow and we found out that the culprit was this this window here was leaking in and it was dripping down so I'm gonna re reseal that properly tomorrow oh shit could have a bath in that could have. Yes, it was, was that, was that it bad? It's a good puddle, yeah. Um, so I think we'll leave it at that for today. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be a scratchy couple of days, but maybe get some welding done. Maybe show you that. Ooh, yeah. Max's favourite. <laughs> I do love a bit of welding. Can't go wrong. So, I'm going to call it a night, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye. Hey guys, uh, I'm just at work here, and I am. Um, Actually, just gonna make some adapter plates for the seats. So I'm gonna be welding, so cutting some holes out, cutting a strip out, um, drilling some holes, and welding some studs in to fit the new seat on because it doesn't fit exactly in the right place that it should. I just put a clear coat on it anyway, just to stop it rusting. 
while those dry I'm gonna nip for a coffee at Lydia's coffee shop so let's go and have a look see if she's busy yo back today uh, I think we left yesterday with this bit of a mess oh. Um, anyway, I made a couple brackets at work, after work today, so I just need to bolt those in and we will see if the new seat fits in the right place. Hey, <laughs> so we got one of them bolted in. Just done a little test fit there. We do need to take it back out and paint all the floor. And where it leaked in, sort all the output. Yeah, stuck. Okay, so today is the first day I'm gonna be riding in the bus. Okay. Believe it or not. Yeah. Um, gonna go and weld uh, your seat in, and it'll be in place today. So I'll have both our seats ready, which will be pretty sick because we can get all the rest of the floor down. I'm um, pretty stoked about that, to be honest. Things we can get on. Yeah, so I'll let you know how it goes. <laughs> Hope she starts. Sounds promising. And we're off. This is really, really weird compared to going. Um, the reason being because See the floor and my legs don't touch. Oh shit. It's gonna be still flying. Oh god, what happened? <laughs> The best money we've spent. Genuinely, yeah, I could get used to these things. And we have arrived at our destination. And then this is where the fun's gonna happen. <laughs> Max is gonna be welding the seats down. Yep. Um, Hopefully it all goes to plan. Hopefully. Well, it will. <laughs> well, we'll There's no hope, it's we'll, going we'll, to... We'll, we'll test you to this, eh? <laughs> pro, pro builder, uh, pro welder, he says he is. I am. <laughs> what are you as a this? So I say, so we'll see how it goes, hey? So... So this is where my seat's gonna be bolt, uh, welded onto. So right now we've actually got to move these, this one and this one because the seat doesn't fit on properly. Well we're not moving them actually, we're just cutting this back bit off so it can sit further back the full plate. Okay, so I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so we're moving it two and three quarters back. I think that's as far back as we can really go. Um, to weld the new metal thing that's like this big don't know what it's called what's it called what the studs yeah the stud so that's what he's doing right now yeah um re-weld it what we do with these studs so they're pretty solid wait is we throw them in the air like that and make sure they're really hard now, we drill a hole, we dip it in, we put some four little tacks around here, get in the right place, and 
flipper over, which I need to polish this up yet, but and then you weld round the stud. That's so why you stripped it back. Solid. It's solid. It, it is part of the steel <laughs> once it's in. What time is it? Is it beer time? Am I right? I'm wrong, I know. It's welding time. Oh, welding time. Wow. Only one thing on my mind when it's when it's warm like this. You've already had a beer. I have one though. That's all you need. Walk up to that. So what we're doing, Marcus? Kind of weld down simple. <laughs> now, I drilled these holes so I can weld in the holes because I couldn't get along the back bead. And we're just going to be like doing little one inch welds, maybe weld that full thing. One inch weld, little weld there. Then, yeah, that's it. Really? Seats welded in place. They do both swivel. This one is a bit of a bitch to swivel, but yeah, pretty happy. How are you? Hmm? How do you feel? Really happy. Yeah. I'm glad the seats are in right now because it means we can do the ship lap. Yeah, I know we keep going on about that. We probably mentioned it in every in everything, every post, but we finally this weekend can get on with doing it so hopefully it's not gonna look like a little spaceship anymore and the thing is as well it, it like it's gonna transform the full bus like it's gonna be cool to see what the ceiling's gonna look like with the wall yeah i'm pretty excited to see that to be honest i'd say we should see that uh, transition in the next couple of weeks or so i'd say yeah hopefully hopefully but yeah stoked stoked but i think we're gonna leave you there right now go and ride some bikes Yep. And we will catch you tomorrow. Catch you tomorrow.